What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. And we are back at it again with another episode. Jeez, always can't get it out of my mouth of a lipstick jungle. If you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode, baby, we came back after not reading the story for like five years. Um, there is a playlist if you want to read the first five. We are reading the next five, and yeah. So, um. reconnect with the other housewives you know to tell them their story and everything you know of why she hid for so long um she's been reconnecting with mac um trying to get understanding she went to therapy and the therapist um told her you know you're you're ready like you're ready to be in love you know the situation in marriage that you had before was so dependent on you know your ex-husband and it no longer is, you know, so now you're ready to be in love. And before the episode ended, our ex-husband and our parents pulled up, baby, on the scene. And our parents didn't know I was pregnant. We haven't seen our ex-husband in forever. So we're about to see how crazy this is about to get. So let's jump into it. There is a shade of red for every woman. Audrey Hepburn. Oh yeah, and we faked like we were um <laughs> we faked um a fainting, which I said she should do. Fake hit the ground, and you, uh, pretend like we're out. We don't have to deal with the situation. <coughs> Excuse me. When people get the word divorce, they usually think of a few words: affair, fighting, messy, sad. They rarely see anything good. Houston and I tried for a year straight. Damn, we tried so hard. There was a time when Houston didn't know what to do. He was a great husband, even being away in the army. He really was amazing, and I really did love him. God, him and I made it through so much together. But losing her child, that was something we just couldn't get through. When you're broken, really, really broken, you never fully recover. At first, it felt like I was stabbing, being stabbed over and over again in a new place every time. Eventually, I became so numb, I couldn't feel anything anymore. Walking became a struggle. Moving at all was nearly impossible. I cried so many tears, I'm surprised I didn't drown myself. Women make it through losing a child all the time, not that they were ever the same. How could you be? For me, it was more than losing my child. I was going through it alone. I was alone. Houston should have been there with me, going through it with me. He was sh shot that day when their camp was invaded. He was shot a few times. He had to recover from that before they even let him come home. I often wondered if he lied in the hospital crying. I wondered that because he wasn't even here for my pregnancy. A week or two here and there was nothing compared to nine months I carried our baby. We could have made it through this together. We could have made it through this. But by the time he returned home, I was so beyond lost. He couldn't understand. He didn't know how to fix me. He didn't know that all I needed, all I wanted was for him to guide me back. I needed him to save me. You've been home for one week, Houston. I know that mother. I don't know what to do. Every time she comes back, she exits again. I don't know how to fix her. I don't know what to say. She's broken, baby. She's lost a part of her. I lost my child, too. I lost my wife. Son, I understand how you feel, but you need to understand that she carried that child. You're right. She needed, she needs help through, and I'm going to have her committed to a mental hospital. Over my dead body? How can you think this is okay? She needs her husband. She is embarrassed. She is weak. And she is heartbroken. A mental institution? He was going to put us in a mental hospital? Like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Damn it, Houston. She needs you. I didn't raise you to be a foolish boy. You need to be a man and be there for your wife. You promised her. She isn't getting better. She needs help. I've been here for two months nursing her back. I warned you she would break again when she even saw you. I warned you, boy. I told you this wasn't going to be easy. Like, literally. Because we lost our baby. I love that girl as if she were my own. I never complained while I sat here doing my son's job. I hand fed your wife, I bathed her, I held her, and I was there for her. Can you for one second think how embarrassed she is? She has to be broken and exposed to me. And that should have been you. Yeah, 
Yeah, feel stupid. Feel dumb, you bitch. Sorry, I had to like text mates in my mouth in my hand and I needed to do something with it. <laughs> I remember him them yelling about me and I knew he didn't know how to take care of me. I questioned my sanity. I mean, I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I could pick myself up off the floor. I knew I could bathe myself. I knew I could do it for him. What I didn't know was that I wasn't ready. I wasn't strong enough to fix myself. I found myself in the bathtub. Every thought came rushing back to me. I thought I'd be okay, but I needed more time. I remember Jad's being pulled out of me. I remember waiting for him to cry. I thought, God, if he just cries, I'd give anything just to hear him cry. Their faces... He should have seen their faces. Why isn't he crying? Why isn't my baby crying? I remember screaming and yelling for them to answer me. And no one answered me. I watched as they moved around the room until I slowly started to pass out. I replayed this in my head every single day for months. I just wanted to feel the pain again. Just to feel normal. But I was still numb. So fucking numb. And I cried. I cried so hard. I screamed for Houston. He was too busy fighting with his mother to hear me scream out for him. It wasn't suicide. I didn't want to die. <coughs> Excuse me. I sat there under the water holding my breath. All I wanted was to finally feel something, anything. I didn't want to die. I wanted to live again. I wanted to feel alive. Yasmin? Oop. We like our ex-mother-in-law. You know. Very, 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 very sweet lady. I tried too hard to feel something. I nearly killed myself. How could I expect him to believe me when I said I didn't want to die? After all, he had to pull his dying wife out of the overflowing bathtub and give her CPR. At the time, I blamed him. I blamed him for everything. I didn't even see how much pain I put him through. I didn't mean to hurt him either. We didn't mean to hurt each other. When I got out, we tried to fix us. We got back to a great spot. And I wanted to try again for another baby. He didn't want to, which started to slowly break us all over again. Until one day we could barely look one another in the eyes. And one day turned into weeks, which turned into months. And finally we agreed our time was up. What's going on, Amelia? Nothing, Sarah. I don't know what you think you heard. Okay, fine. What I told Brenda is true. Why couldn't you? Why wouldn't you tell us? I didn't want to worry you guys. And if I told you, you felt sorry for me. I always didn't want to make you guys think I wasn't happy for you all. Because I'm so happy for each and every one of you. I came, I can see where you're coming from. Oh, she overheard her about um, not being able to have another baby. We all love you. And I hope you know you can tell us anything. I love you all so much. How about we grab drinks later this week and talk more? Can we keep this between us? I'm not ready for everyone knowing. It's going to be okay. I hope so. It's all work out somehow. It just sucks that it's my fault. I know. There has to be more options and I'll help you. Thank you. Hey, ladies. Hey, Charlene. You look great today. It's date night with Andrew. Only sad thing is I'm missing the show out there. That is very sad. Maybe you can record it a bit much. I have to get going. Someone please text me and tell me all what she's wearing, please. Oh, look at all. Oh, look at all the kiddos. I don't know why that was coming out of my me as a whisper. Oh, it's all the moms. Hi, mothers. 
Okay, she, this lady random got her O's. There's a lot of girlies with their babies. Um, you can all come to my birthday party. My mommy said for my birthday, I can get a pony. A pony? A pony can't fit in your house. You can't get a pony. It's my birthday party. It's mine and Benny's birthday in 27, 1500 days. I'm having my birthday at the zoo with the pandas. I want to go to the zoo. It's my birthday first. How cute was that video Riker sent me of Yasmin and Mac? The cutest. I hope they work things out. I always liked them together. So did I. Plus he's happy. He's also not alone when we're all going out. I always felt so bad for him. I forgot to show you this picture. I swear by it. You have to try it. I'm going to order some when I get home. My husband keeps telling me to lay off the almond shopping. That's never going to happen. I die if my husband told me that. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just haven't got much sleep. You look thin. I don't know, Sarah. I hope you're telling the truth. I love you for caring, but I'm perfectly fine. She is a doctor. I forget that. I'm like, she's, I'm like, are they the closest? But if you remember, um, Kayla is also, a, Kay is also a doctor. I'm late. Did I miss it? She's coming, ladies. It's time. What's happening? Uh, uh, who is this? They're all just standing there looking super creepy. <laughs> like super ooper duper creepy. What is going on? Is everything okay, little girl? My Aunt Tara is having a party and my mommy and her friends want you to come. Did they put you up to this? Girl, I think I was trying to stand up look awkward now. Y'all knew what y'all was doing. <laughs> y'all knew what y'all was doing. Why didn't y'all just ask her? It's like nine of y'all. I told you I was fine. You fainted for real the second time. Don't hold your eyes, Yasmin. Not we fainted for real the second time. Like, <laughs> excuse me. I'm going to talk. Don't tell me what to do. Just roll your eyes again. Don't say anything. Um, I'm an adult. You have a lot of nerve, young lady. Hey, asshole. Don't speak to her like that. How come you do this to me? Everything isn't about you, Yasmin. You're having my ex-husband's daughter call you Papa. And you can't even be here for your own kids. Yeah, you heard it right. After I stood up from my fake faint, this beautiful little girl came running over. She ran straight to my father and said, Hi, Papa. Turned around and looked at Houston. He couldn't even look me in the eyes. I passed up for real after that. How can he tell me he didn't want kids and knock some money up a few weeks after we got divorced? Kill him. Kill him in his life. The mother of the child passed away. He's got no one else. How is that your problem? It's sad. Yeah, but what the fuck, man? You actually treated Houston like a son, leaving Yasmin and I out like we weren't your, even your kids. They got divorced because of him. He wasn't going to try for another baby. Whose fault is that? Don't you dare blame Yasmin. Houston's mother is all he has. I didn't know that. You only care about yourself. I can't take this anymore. Robin, let's get some coffee. Why can't you be there for me? And why are you mad at me for being pregnant? I don't get it. Why am I never good enough for you? How is she? She's fine, sweetheart. 
Turns out she was just dehydrated. Your secret meanings with our father don't help. You shouldn't have moved to the city. Robin, enough. He came to me, man. True, trust me, the last thing I wanted was for Yasmin to find out about Natalie. She wasn't planned, you know? Of course she wasn't. You were just banging somebody else after you divorced us. Like, fuck you. I didn't say it to Yasmin, but our divorce killed me. Watching her fall apart and not being able to fix her, not knowing how, how sucked. I failed her, man, and it broke me. I hope you know how much I loved your sister. Where is she? Is she okay? Thanks for coming, man. And yeah, she's fine. And who are you? This must be her family. Awkward. I'm her man. I'm the father of her baby. Just give her your name. Ooh. Okay, so, I mean, obviously he's the father of the baby. True. Um, but do we just want to give him the name? You know, no introductions. Or just be like, I'm her man. <laughs> I'm her man. In front of the old man. Actually, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm her man. In front of her raggedy ass old man. And Robin know what it is. So, yeah. I'm her man. Mm -hmm. I'm Yasmin's man. What are the odds? Yasmin's man, baby daddy, and ex-husband all show up for her on the same day. Wait, I'm not the father? No, Mac, you are the father. I'm done with that girl. I've had enough. What kind of whore gets knocked up by some random guy she doesn't want? She's not even with. She does nothing but make poor decisions. Don't talk about Yasmin like that. What the hell is going on? You should go talk to my sister, man. I don't know who the hell you are, but you don't get to talk about the mother of my child like that. Who the fuck are you now? Mm, bitch. I'm the random guy who knocked Yasmin up. I'm going to guess you're her, her pile of shit father she always talks about. Worst part is she always said how much she loves you. How much she wishes you loved her in return. How you were never there for her when she needed you. But she forgive you in a heartbeat. I've always wondered how Yasmin could speak so highly of you because it sure as hell sounds like you treated her like shit. One of these days I'm going to marry Yasmin and I can protect you. I can promise you I'll treat her better than you ever have. Now if you'll excuse me. I'd like to go kiss my queen and my child. I'll be sure to let Yasmin know that someone loves her and that someone is me. Damn. Exactly. Exactly. Feel stupid. Damn. Finally. A guy I like. <laughs> That's our man. I sat there listening to what was going on outside of my room. I knew Robin called Mac, but I wasn't expecting everyone to still be around when he got here. I can't believe my father. I just wanted to get the hell out of here. I guess I have a lot of explaining to do. We both do. We have all night for that. I love him. Why was he so sweet? I could clearly hear what happened outside in the hallway outside of my door. Yet he didn't seem to care. His focus was on me. A man. A man. How are you feeling? Better now that you're here. Oh my gosh. And see, this is different for Yasmin this time around because... She's not doing it by herself. You know, the first time she was doing it alone. And, you know, probably if her baby did survive, she would still be doing it alone. Like, and how's daddy's little angel? You might not know it this yet, but you have the most amazing mommy. You're one lucky baby. They so cute. I mean, every word, Yasmin. Our baby is very lucky. Okay, seriously, I'm done. Kiss him now. See if he kiss you. Girl, kiss him now. What we waiting for? What you waiting for? What you what you waiting for? I couldn't hold myself back any longer. I needed to taste him to feel him. I wanted him to want me, and he did. And just as I thought, he kissed me back. I 
I could sit here and tell you about the butterflies and how they danced around like junk or junk fools inside of me, but I couldn't even focus on them. Thoughts of him taking me on this hospital bed were in taking control. I couldn't help but run my fingers along the zipper of his jeans. I knew he wanted me too. I want you so bad, Yasmin. Is that bad? I want you. I need to feel you right now. Here? Honestly? I don't care where. Take me, baby. Please take me. <laughs> Maybe I should come back. <sighs> damn. Go. Come on. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> we don't care. I was heading out. Wanted to say goodbye. I think you've done enough. Bye. Don't say anything. Uh, I think you've done enough, bitch. I think now isn't a good time, man. My lady and I are kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, I see that. Okay, bye, bitch. Good, so why don't you show yourself to the door so I can finish taking care of my woman. Oh my god, it's dripping. This is the hottest thing I've ever seen. Maybe I should add fuel to the fire. You should leave Houston. After all, I'm pregnant and horny for my real for my man. Last I recall, that wasn't you. And this sure as hell isn't your baby. Sorry, we had to meet this way. It wasn't my intention. So it was nice to meet you, though. Sticking around with my father, having your child gone, Papa, when you didn't even want kids seemed intentional to me. Really? I don't like this guy. It was nice to meet you, though. Agree, disagree. Agree, I guess. I couldn't agree more. Good luck with everything. You're a lucky man. I know, bitch. I'm the luckiest man. And he knows that, bitch, unlike you. After that interesting turn of events, Mac drove me home to change so we could go to our spot and talk. I really wanted to pick back up where we left off before Houston came into the room, but we agreed we should talk first. Ooh, now he got a suit on. Now he got a suit on. We love that. I've missed this place. So have I. Thank you for sticking up for me. I punched your dad. No one talks about the mother of Mac Diamond's baby like that. I don't think you've ever known how much I've been missing you, Yasmin. I suddenly felt too guilty for leaving this beautiful, caring, and loving man. I felt awful. I never even gave him a chance. I took so much time away from him, time away from his baby. How can he stand in front of me and be so forgiving? Yes, are you okay? I guess there's only one thing to say. I'm sorry. I love you. I hope you know that. Um, we'll apologize since we do feel so guilty. Mac, yes, Yasmin, I'm so sorry I left you. You have nothing to be sorry for, Yasmin. How can you be so nice to me? I took your baby away from you. I was angry when you told me. I did a lot of thinking. I was married, Yasmin. I don't blame you at all for running. Come here. Let me hold you. Hold me close to you. I don't know what I'm saying. It's going to be okay, Yasmin. I think we both have a lot of things we need to tell each other. I want, I want you to know... I want the truth, every part of it. I also want you to know, no matter how bad or good or bad it is, I'm not leaving. I promise to love every part of you, Yasmin. Kiss every scar, heal every wound the best I can. I have one condition. And what's that? You dance with me while we tell the truth. You're crazy. Crazy about you. Are you going to leave me standing here dancing with myself? How beautiful. How beautiful. And they're matching. And it's just so cute. They're just so cute. You make my heart melt, Yasmin Daniels. You make my entire world melt. Your beauty is incomparable. I hope you know that. I guess I better start with my truth, huh? I'm ready. We can take it slow. Tell a few more each day. Okay. That guy was my ex-husband. We were high school sweethearts. Madly in love. Young love, though. Do you still love him? No, I love you. My heart isn't well enough to love anyone else. We married, and a few years later, we were expecting our first child, which I lost. 
I'm so sorry, Yasmin. Thank you. We couldn't recover from it. Mainly me. It broke me. I'm still a mess, to be honest. How did it end? We both knew it was over. He also didn't want to try for another baby, which is one of the reasons I was upset today. He had a daughter. A young, beautiful little girl. I'm sorry he did that to you. I have to admit I was very upset. Mac, anything... I went through every painful moment, every broken memory led me to you. I knew that I loved you. I didn't tell you because that scared me. I even tried to hide it from myself. The more time passed, the more you left me for her. I started to find myself crying. I didn't want to cry. I wanted you. I'm so sorry, Yasmin. I found out I was pregnant a week before I left you. And in that week, I fought myself every day. I wanted the happy ending, but knew I couldn't get it because you belonged to someone else. I couldn't go through that. I couldn't put our baby through that. So I ran from you, from love, from the happy ending. Ooh, look at his booty. He got a nice booty. <laughs> Oh, still so beautiful. Let me tell my truth for the night because it's getting late. I told you there was a reason I couldn't leave Juliet. Yeah, I remember you wouldn't tell me why, though. I didn't tell you because I didn't know how to tell you. I was both of my parents when I was 16, Yasmin. I'm so sorry, Mac. I didn't know. Okay, they stopped dancing, so we're getting serious, I'm guessing. I should have told you, it's not something I usually talk about, but you're my best friend. You always have been. They died in a house fire when I was away at school. They were both home from work, very sick. My heart is just breaking for you. That's awful, Mac. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know how it happened. I never wanted to know. It was just one of those things that happened. Juliet's father was the fire chief. After the death, I wanted nothing more than to be a firefighter. I met Juliet, and I guess you could say we hit it off. Her father adored me, and I don't even know why. But he told me I needed to marry her. I was young, and I thought I'd lose my job if I didn't. Oak Ridge is the best fire department in the entire state. We're the only ones with as much coverage as we have, which is why we work long hours, which is why they provide us with a houses a mile away and a gated community. As long as we're on call, we don't have to pay for the house. Anyways, I couldn't lose my job. We got married only to find we couldn't stand each other. She's not the nicest person. No, she isn't. <coughs> not they laughing at her. She being a bitch. Anyway, a few months before I met you, Julia and I went to her father to tell him we wanted to end our marriage. He didn't take that very well at all. She left in tears. I tried to talk to him again. He told me I'd lose everything if I left her. That's awful. I met you, fell madly in love. I'm Jay, the sweetest. But I felt sick to my stomach every day that we couldn't be together. I thought about leaving the fire department just to be able to have you. But I didn't even know you felt the same about me. But I got the news he was retiring and I had to wait until I knew he was going to go through with it. And he did. And when Mateo replaced him, I filed for divorce right away. We're both so stupid for not speaking up. I've got you now. That's all that matters. It's us, our baby, and day by day, everything else will fall into place. It won't always be easy, but I want to try. I want this and I want us. I want us too. The dip. We missed the, <laughs> we missed the little animated dip. Love isn't easy. This is a great start for us. It's crazy to think about building a life and a family with someone else, creating tiny little people who walk this earth and look like many mixtures of both of you. It's freaky as hell if you actually think about it, but it's also beautiful to see parts of both of you put together. I know being a parent isn't easy, but I also know, like my friends, I've always tried my hardest. If mistakes are made, I know Mac and I will, will work to make them better. I couldn't wait to watch our story form. Mac, don't trot me. That'll never happen, Yasmin. I'm never letting go. I missed the little animated tip. Because <laughs> we don't have that in um, Limelight. What is she looking for? Baby, what's been going on with you? 
Can you please look, look at me? Please talk to me, babe. Vivian. I'm like, girl, just tell him. He your husband. He showed up at the park. Who, babe? Chris. I haven't spoken to him since what happened. I promise. I didn't think you did. Now he keeps texting me. Why didn't you come home the other night? I just don't understand why you left us here to worry. I promise I didn't mean to. Seeing him bought back what I did to you. And it hurt me knowing what I did to you. I'm so sorry, Riker. And I love you so much. Viv, that was years ago. We were in a bad spot. We married young. Neither one of us are ready. Especially me. I wasn't the best husband to you. I still blame myself. I can't let it go, Riker. Yes, you can let it go. I love you and I forgave you and that's what matters. I'm putting it into this tonight. What? Babe, what are you going to do? What I should have done years ago. I love you, Viv Vivian Grayson. Okay, sir, where are you going? Langdon, it's Vivian. Viv, it's late. What's going on? I need you to wake Ace up. Please, it's Riker. What's going on? You know it's not safe to wake a sleeping firefighter. Just tell me what's going on. I don't know. If if I tell you, you can't tell anyone. Ever. Please. I'm not ready for everyone to know. Promise me, Langdon. Okay, okay. I promise. Now explain. You know how Riker and I got married young? Well, he was an asshole to me. He just wanted to be with his friends, get high, and just be young. And I was feeling so lonely, and I tried to talk to him about it. He brushed it off. Uh, he didn't care. I had an affair, Langdon, with a friend of mine who treated me right, and I just and just wanted to feel loved i might have been in love with the other guys too i don't know i don't know i just i don't know i haven't seen or heard from him in so long and the other day he showed up at the park now he's non-stop texting me girl this is juicy i didn't think you had it in you well, actually i guess i did so let me guess Riker just found out about it and he's raging Riker knew about it. He's just pissed that he's trying to talk to me. And he doesn't want Chris near the kids. He stormed out at the door, Langdon. I need Ace to go find him, please. Wait, so if Riker knew, did he join in? Was it like a love triangle kind of thing? Girl, Langdon ain't no good. She's like, okay, wait, but give me more details. What's the juiciness? Langdon, this isn't a time for jokes. Ace is Riker's best friend. Please just wake him up. I'm just messing around, girl. I'll wake him up now. Are you okay? I should have asked that first. Then you're like, girl, did you get some threesomes? Did you get some motherhood? What has taught me the meaning of living in the moment and being at peace? Children don't think about yesterday and they don't know. They don't think about tomorrow. They just exist in the moment. That is true. Reese? Reese, you're too close to the TV. Hi, Mommy. And when you're a parent, you have to understand that you'll never figure out what perfect is. You're just human. You're still human. And you're still going to make mistakes. Sometimes you're going to break and feel worn out. But at the end of the day, no matter what, the tiny humans bring you back. Mommy wanted to talk to you before you went to bed. Is that okay? Mommy is very sorry for leaving you at school. I didn't mean to. I love you very much and you mean the world to me. I never meant to be a bad mom. I always wanted to be the best mommy to you. I just got really, really sad and, and I'm a good mom. I'm a good mommy, right? You're my favorite mommy ever. I love you so much. I love you more, bigger, mama. <laughs> what? Oh, he just loved watching his girls be happy. Family time, happy time. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh. 
and then got her in the bed with her. Are you awake? Yeah, I love you. I love you. I thought about everything. Yeah, your happiness is all that matters to me. And the kids, of course. I know they will be happy with you being around more. So if that's what you want, I'll support you. Love is beautiful. When you're 100% sure this person is the one, you do anything to make them happy. And they do the same for you. And love works out. It just works. A few days passed by. I've been so busy at Lips the Jungle and Mac was so busy at the station. We didn't get to see each other again. But he's been checking up on me nonstop and I loved it. I was happy that we were going to hear, hear me out. And I also was worried for many different reasons. What if everyone stays mad at me? I need to stop stressing myself out. This is a very long chapter. I'm not even going to lie to you. I feel like I've been reading for like a minute. I don't care for the outfits. I have like the short. <laughs> that have like the shorts on it. Especially with the belly. Because it's like girl. You literally can't even see. The freaking shorts. Actually, I will wear this. Yes. Um, we'll put our hair back straight. And we'll wear some red. Yeah. Or we'll some red lipstick. And our girl's ready. She's ready. The next two scenes will both end in the middle of the scene. Don't worry, we'll go back to them when the time comes, as we will the party scene that cuts off. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Okay, so apparently we're gonna, like, get cut off. But here we are with the girls. Or is this book club? I find the zoo with me loves you guys. Oh, this is the lady that they um met at the park and she um invites them to her book club. Alright, sweetheart, we're heading out. Enjoy your book club. Okay, ladies, let the fun begin. Girl, not to get the glasses raised. Turns out book club is called for gossip and wine time. And who knew these women needed to lie about book club just to get away without feeling guilty? Which is crazy. Because you just, just say you're having some time with the girls. They remind me a bit of myself. Lying to yourself about things just to make yourself feel better. I was totally enjoying it though. Even though I was drinking water. It was nice to not feel so alone. I wasn't the only person out there who had secrets, who had scars, who wasn't perfect. I wasn't alone anymore. I was invited as well. Looks like we're all going to a party. To be honest, it's nice to see everyone getting along. I have to agree, the less drama, the better. So are we really going to Sarah's party? I'm going. Yes, and this is my friend Liz. She's also my photographer. Nice to meet you, Liz. Well, you told me so much about you. Liz, you have to tell Yasmin about the pregnancy package. I'd love to. After all, it's something almost all of you moms did. What is it? An outdoor nude pregnancy photo shoot. 
totally interested. My man will love it. Nude? Me? Outside? Hell no. Girl, be one with nature. Be one with nature in the baby. <laughs> oh, she dancing real hard for a pregnant lady. I actually read the book the other night. I used it as a coaster. I wish I could find the time to actually read. I'm happy to be able to find time to have a glass of wine. She had the nerve to ask me for a refund. That's crazy. As a business owner myself, I get it. This is why I don't work. I know you from somewhere. Well, this never turns out good. I'm off to get more wine. Who? Okay, these ladies are too bust, and this one is too close. So, Niha, what the fuck? You know who? From where? Must be me. I get around town. That is, I get around town. You're the girl from the mental hospital. Oh, you must have the wrong girl. No, you're Yasmin Daniels, right? What is all talking about? I really shouldn't have drank and talked. It never mixes. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, girl, did he, did he really put you in the hospital? And if Niha finding out my secret wasn't bad enough, Friday wasn't a whole lot better. Good morning, Yasmin. Hey, has Saya and Chantel arrived yet? Yeah, they're in the raging room. Okay, I just have to use the restroom. Oh, just when I couldn't, when I thought things couldn't get worse, I walk in on Langdon and the bodyguard. Um, Langdon, Langdon's with Ace, right? Girl, scream. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, he's hot. Oh, but, uh, girl, is Ace cool with this? Girl, that was a very, very, very long chapter. I think I've been reading for like 40 minutes. I'm not 100% sure. But that is all that I have for you today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye. Pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars. I could really use a wish right now. Wish right